In this video, we're going to take a look at the X1R and how you can use it with your older RL600B, maybe a Nikon SB600 or a Young Nuo uh, version 4 manual speed light. Let's get into it. So welcome to Radio Trigger Health. The purpose of the video is to, to discover a little bit about the X1R uh, receiver from Godox. So if you're like me and you're a fan of the Godox system, which I am because it's a family, everything talks to everything, that's what I love about it. Currently I'm using the X2T uh, and the S Pro. I also have the X1. Um, so basically what's going on here, I've got my Sony a6000, the X2T. If I use any of these three guys here, my 8200 Pro, TT350 or V860, I turn this on and it fires because the signal is going from here to here by 2.4 gigahertz radio signal. So that we know, that's pretty straightforward. But I thought there's times when I'm doing a lot of HDR uh, photography and it would be nice to be able to use my V860 and maybe my y young Nuo 568EX to light both sides of the face. Instead of having to go buy another one of these, I can resurrect some of my older kit. And that's what brought about uh, this video. So let's just take a look and see what we can do uh, with this system as you know when you try to use it with other manufacturers products. So on my right here I've got a monoblock. This is my old RL600B. This is made by Jinbei in Australia. It's a great unit for overpowering the sun and it's portable. I can take it out into the field and it happens to come with the RL600V2 uh, trigger system. And so the way I typically use this is I'll pop this on the top of the X2T if I need to overpower the sun and then I can fire this guy uh, remotely and voila so now I can use this that's great well what if you don't have this little trigger maybe you got it with the RL600B and you lost it okay so now what so now what you want to do is take your RL600B like so, plug in your sync cable, and take your other end of the sync cable, plug it in like so. You have to make sure your channels are set. So I'm using D1, uh, D, uh, oh, I better change that. This should be a D. That's a group. I need D. There we go. So that should fire. And let's put this down. So you can see that it does fire. Voila. So you can now use the Godox X1R to trigger some of your old stuff. The problem here is the RL600B only does uh, high speed sync from 1 16th to full power, one to one. But you can have full remote adjustment if you have this thing. If you don't, you can walk over and make the adjustments on the back. So the Godox system is kind of cool that way. It allows you to, you know, do things with other manufacturers' products and breathe some new life into them. All right. So now let's uh, take this out. We'll take our sync cable out. And let's see what we can do with, say, an RL600B. Uh, sorry, with a Nikon SB600. So we're going to plug that into the top of this. Plug this off so you don't get a big flash in the face. And it fires the SB600, which is really cool. Now, you only have manual adjustment on the back of the speed light. There's no, you can't make the controls here control, you know, the output up or down but still you can use this speed light so that's pretty cool but what about the, the old young new system here's a yn 564 and it's set at 1 one twenty eighth. there you go again no remote control but you've got manual control and the speed light works Here's my YN568. We'll turn that on. Just tighten this down. It's also, yeah, manual 128. And it fires.
Whoop. So if you're looking to breathe a new, uh, a little bit of new life into some of your old kit, this is one way to do it. Now, just in case uh, some of you might be wondering, I'll turn this off. This is the X1T. And make sure that's turned on. And what should we do first here? Let's go back to the old Jinbei. And you can tell right away it's going to fire it. If your test fire works, you know it's going to work from the camera. Bang. So that's the X1. Um, okay. Now, take that off. Let's go to the sink cable. <clears throat> and on this one, I have to change the group to C, I believe it is. Let's see. There you go. So the X1 works through the uh, X1R as well. And what haven't we done? Uh, the X Pro. Okay. X Pro S Pro is what it's called, actually. So I plug that in, turn that on. And so now we're going through the sync cable to the RL600B. That is pretty cool. Uh, so now I've got a 564. I have two 563s, a 568EX, you know, plus is it. So out in the field doing HDR, you know, I'm going to have so much versatility, it's beyond belief. So. I hope you find this useful. Mm -hmm.